Hello, so we are back, and this time with an interesting job. Remember my video from yesterday? This one. So this video was uploaded 19 hours ago. And uh, if you remember when you were the, the job was uh, about when you were stressing the CPU, the laptop was shutting down. Now guess what? Like 19 hours later, I got a job. Same, exactly same fault. About exactly, yeah, with a small difference. And we're gonna see that. Let me power on. This is an Acer Predator. It's a gaming laptop. Triton 300. It's i7 engine. Uh, NVIDIA graphics. So let's see together. Bench. Let me try to zoom in. I will stress the CPU. Let's wait and see. Check there. You see the processing power is going down, down, and the laptop is off. You can see. And look at the battery. Look at the battery exactly like the one from yesterday. Look at the battery. It's not charging anymore. Crazy. Okay, so I can see this has no screws. I haven't opened the laptop, so I don't know. Let's check. So you see the laptop shut down and actually this is about 40 degrees, it's not more than that. But I swear, you know what? One second. The board is the same like the one from yesterday. Check the first MOSFET, second MOSFET. Do you think it can be the same fold? Let's see. I'm curious. Can be the same fold? LOL <laughs> This is insane What are the odds to have two jobs with same fault one after the other? I mean you realize this is a different laptop, yeah? This is an Acer uh, Predator and the other one was uh, Acer Nitro this is crazy. I mean, exactly the same fold. I will unplug the battery because it's pretty strange. So this is a common fold on Acer's, like the first MOSFET is getting shorted. Because I see people on the chat saying, sorry, uh, that laptop had a shorter capacitor, so I will check always the first MOSFET, it will get shorted. I mean, this is the first time, and I swear it's the first time, when, actually, I'm seeing the first MOSFET shorted as a result of a shorted capacitor, yeah? It's not like something uh, which I've seen before. I've seen the second MOSFET, yeah, the second MOSFET, I've seen it shorted, but not the first one. And the, the, the thing is... Those are on the serial mode, yeah? So the second MOSFET, the power, is, is lower compared with the first one. So if you're on the serial mode, you expect the second one to get burned, right? So what do we have here? We have a second MOSFET, which is good, yeah? And we have the first MOSFET. And what is that? It's like a spark or... Yeah, looks like looks like it's a spark there. And the second MOSFET, short, zero ohms, one ohm, sorry, one ohm. Okay, let me plug the charger. Let me plug the charger and see if we have 20 volts on the gate. No, we have 19.9, you can see on the screen. And on this gate, will be the same because those gates are together, right? Let's check if we're together. Yeah, the gates are together, are connected together, 5 ohms difference, yeah? But this one is shorted, and we have 19 volts on the gate. 
So let's quickly remove the MOSFET. I mean, we learn, right? That's the idea. We learn from the last job. You see, you learn once and then you apply when you have, again, same uh, symptoms like this one. Okay, so we remove the MOSFET. Let me try to find another MOSFET. Okay, so we got the MOSFET. Yeah. Now let's solder the MOSFET. Yeah, so the MOSFET is soldered. Perfect. Now let's cool down. Let's cool down the board. I'll use some thermal pad. Okay, let's plug the charger and let's check the voltage on the gate, yeah? And we have, you can see on the screen, actually goes over 20, 25.9, you can see on the screen, 25.9. And obviously on the other gate, it will be the same, 25.9. Insane, insane, the same, exactly the same fold like the one from yesterday. And obviously now it's working fine. Let me plug the battery and it will charge fine. Exactly the same like yesterday, like the, the laptop from yesterday. But that was a lap, um, Acer Nitro and this one is Predator. Yeah, we can stress again the CPU, but I'm pretty sure it's okay. And look, so we have the MOSFET. No, this is from, from yesterday. This is from yesterday. And we have the MOSFET from today. This one. Both MOSFETs are shorted. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, let's open the software. Stress the CPU. Yeah. So we are stressing the CPU right now. But I'm pretty sure this is uh, this is fixed. I mean, the fault was clear. The MOSFET was shorted. And if the MOSFET is shorted, the voltage on the gate is lower. You should have like 6 volts compared with the main power rail. Yeah, so main power rail is 19. You should have 6 on top. Yeah, it's working fine. It was clearly. But you know, if I didn't have the video from yesterday, if I didn't have that job, probably I will spend hours on this one because I'll, I'll not think, okay, let's check the first MOSFET. Why you will check? Why would you check the first MOSFET when you have two MOSFETs on the serial mode and the second MOSFET, it's actually the power is lower compared with the first MOSFET. You know what I mean? That's the reason why yesterday I didn't check the first one. I checked the second one, but not the first one. Yeah, clearly that was the problem. Okay, so if you have uh, this kind of problem, like the laptop shutting down, it looks like it's a common fault the first MOSFET to be shorted. So this job was quicker 
because of the experience from yesterday with that laptop where I actually I spent around two hours. I even replaced the Biki chip on the on that one. Okay, so I'll stop uh, now. The laptop is fixed. I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.